Well, hello there, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering draft video. It's Al here with you, and this is How to Draft MTG. We've looked at the data on 17 lands. We've come up with a plan, and we are drafting some Streets of New Capenna Limited. Sit back and relax. Maybe click that like button, click that subscribe button before you get too comfortable. would appreciate the support. It helps the channel in a huge way. And uh, we're going to go through every pick of this draft, and I'm going to show you all the gameplay and all my decisions and why I'm doing certain things. It's my, only my third draft of the format. Um, so if you'd like to see how I utilize the data on 17 lands to come up with a plan on how to draft a format that I have not had very much experience in, you can check out the previous video uh, that outlines that. Uh, we'll see you for pick one it's just as soon as we queue up here. See you in a second. All right, we know our plan is to start white where possible. First pick, Inspiring Overseers where possible. Halo Fountain, unfortunately, is not going to do it for me, I don't think. I don't recall seeing this on the top Mythics list. Uh, looks like one of those cards where it's like tap an untapped creature you control to do something, but it's actually untap a tapped creature. So you have to have tapped a creature for some other reason, which is probably attacking, which is not always favorable. And then, uh, you know, be able to untap it. So this is the classic win more type card. We're not going to be picking it here. Uh, we could start with a backup agent. I don't think we want to start crew captains. Not in a combination of colors that's doing very well right now. We could start with an obscura charm, but a three color card is pretty rough. We want to be two colors where possible. Uh, we want two drops where possible as well. So I think I like backup agent again for that reason. Uh, Witty Roastmaster is fine, but red has not been doing too well. Shattered Sayer is not playable. And Jetmere's Fixer is not in a good color combination. So I think really the only option of that out of that pack, based on the research that I've done, listening to podcasts and um, checking out 70 lands, is actually Backup Agent, which is not something I would have necessarily thought. Uh, definitely not something I would have thought, you know, in my first open uh, pack of, of the format. Uh, okay, so Botanical Plaza it sets us up to play green-white, which is one of the better color combinations in the format. Strangle is a good red common, but red has not been doing too well. Brazen Upstart is a strong three-color card-ish, uh, although uh, it's not, you know, among the top on commons. So I think we'll pass it for now. Um, and again, yeah, really not much going on in this pack. I guess Courier's Briefcase might be the other card I'd be looking at. It's a two-drop. Um, helps us cast our spells. Makes a 1-1. One, one. Um, I think I'm just going to take the land here. These dual lands are, are a high priority. Um, so we're just going to snap up the land, see what happens. This will help us splash a green card if we end up blue-white, or help us be green-white if we end up green-white. And, wow. Okay, the Bant Brokers, I should say. Uh, Tri-land. These are obviously super, super powerful. Happy to pick that up here. Tri-land is some of the best cards in the set. Um... Cormella Glamour Thief is decent. Um, but I think, and Sparrow's Adjudicators is decent uh, in the Broker's decks. I think we just want to sort of set ourselves up to um, to play green-white if we can here. I wonder what our our folks to the uh, to our right took over this land. An uncommon and a common are missing. Probably an inspiring overseer. So we're probably just going to get cut out of white. That's all right. See what's next. Okay, Fairy Vandal. We saw in uh, our 17 lands a little look at the format that that card has been doing quite well. Blue-white's a great color combination. We have Fixing for it. It's a two-drop. These are all great reasons to take this card. It's also on the right uh, side of the white shard, the broker's shard, whereas if we get pushed out of white, we can move into blue-black. Uh, hold for ransom, a decent one as well. We could try uh, try to wheel. This probably won't come back around, but uh, what could come back around out of this pack? Uh, maybe like a civic gardener or something. If we end up needing uh, needing green cards, this pack's not very good, but we'll take the fairy vandal. I'll be pretty happy with that. And here's a sizzling soul list. So we're gonna see some red signals for sure because folks know that red's not great. Uh, pick five gathering throng is pretty interesting. That seems a little bit late for that card. I think we could take it here. See if we get past any more. 
Civic Gardener. Sawjack's probably fine. Disdainful Stroke is not really a draft card. Bruiser is fine as well, I think, in a Flyer's deck, which we would be if we were blue-white. Uh, yeah, and the rest of the pack's not all that interesting. So I think we're going to take Gathering Throng, see if we can gather a few more of those. Um, and here, I think we'll probably take Skycry uh, Skycryer. Not not a great pack. There's a Caldia Strong Arm actually. Might be a slightly better card. This was performing quite well in the green white decks. Um, but again, we do just want to kind of be base white where possible. We already have two white cards. I don't want to spread ourselves too thin. So I think I will take the Crier. It's also a two drop, which is a good thing. And I've picked seven red rare, but it's not a, not a playable one. Okay, Rafine's Guidance is not a card that's really done anything. It's, pr it's decent with um, Connive, for sure. It's a Corrupt Court Official. And a Fake Your Own Death. So I think we pick up the Court Official here. There's a Witness Protection as well, which I guess is all right in blue. I haven't seen a ton of blue yet. I think we're going to take the court official here. And we could potentially pivot, or maybe we end up playing white black, which apparently is a deck. Um, cemetery tampering. Mill yourself a bunch. Uh, it seems like a recipe for disaster. So, how do you not die <laughs> to decking out? I don't know. Okay, so a bunch of. Much more stuff that's just not really any good. Uh, so I guess we will take this rare just for the just for the gems. Um, Shattered Seraph comes back around. So here's our wheel pack. So we want to pay attention to what we're seeing here. Celebrity Fencer. I guess is the card. I don't think we want a three mana one two flying death touch very much. Security bypass. Not great either. Yeah, we'll take take a fencer. Not interested in playing Shattered Seraph. So, not the greatest start for us, but we do have pretty good mana here and a white uh, base. Seeing some, some black-red come back around, but like nothing really, really, truly exciting here. Another Shattered Seraph. Uh, I guess we'll take Midnight Assassin. If we get pushed into black, we get pushed into black. Fake Your Own Death, sure. Or Cormella. I'll take Fake Your Own Death. And a dual land. So if we get pushed into black, blue black is, is potentially an option, although we're not really seeing any blue. So um, really not any blue at all. So we did see some green. We passed up on a couple of the uh, Blitz creature. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. So thinking we might see some green in pack three. White is obviously contested. Okay, Rego. What does this do? Whenever you attack a creature with power one or less, you draw a card, and this has a shield count. It seems good. It's also potentially a mono white card. It's pretty flexible mana wise. Got a backup agent. We have Skycryer. It works well with it. Uh, Court Official works well with it. Fairy Vandal kind of works well with it. So I think we could pick it up here. Nimble Larcenist. Kind of a meh. Don't really want to be three colors. Still, hold for ransom didn't wheel last time. Uh, we could take it here. I think we'll take a chance on the rare. Might wheel one of these blue cards. They're all decent. We're out of town. Might come back. Or uh, Echo Inspector. So yeah, I think we take the Rego here. Might see some of these blue cards come back. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, we're back. Patch up. How good is that? Here, we don't have any one drops, so probably not great. Um, probably don't want to take it here. Cabaretty Courtyard is good if we want to be green-white, which we kind of said we might be. Quick Draw Dagger could be okay. Glamorous Outlaw. Another Strong Arm. That's the card I was talking about earlier that we passed on. Sonic Snoop is pretty bad. Boon of Safety I thought was going to be really good, but this hasn't really been showing up. Um, 
so is it time to take a strong arm? Not a great reason to be green. I'd rather see Jewel Thief. Um, no, I don't want that card. I think it's like, we're either supposed to take strong arm or boon. Kind of want to take boon there. Okay. This is a good reason to splash red is Fleetfoot Dancer. Broker's Initiate's not great. Revelation of Power is good. Uh, we don't have a, a way to make red mana yet because we didn't take that cabaretty uh, courtyard. So we could spec on the on the on the rare here. Do you like Revelation of Power though? Uh, some black cards that are not great. And a River Tears land that is not great. Gets us red, but uh, okay. Let's take the rare. Like that combat trick though. As far as adjudicators, well, that doesn't go very well with this rare that we just took. So here's the tension of taking all of these uh, uh, different colored cards, right? You just get yourself into trouble. I think we take Echo. Ooh, he doesn't make this appear in the back. Um, see, now I wish we hadn't taken this green card because we don't want to splash for it. I think we want the make disappear. Still want. A bunch of twos. If we can get them. No green. There's an adjudicators, but if we're taking a, a blue card, we should just take the make disappear, I think. So we're going to do that. Um, Broker's hideout's good. Maestro's ascendancy. No. Definitely don't want to be sacking our own stuff. Revelation of power in the pack. Okay, I think we'll take a Broker's Hideout. I know I just said I wanted that revelation, but I want to stay kind of open here. This lets us play blue, blue, white, or green, white. Uh, fixes our mana in a good way. Don't know if this Fleetfoot Dancer is going to end up making it. Another Broker's Hideout, Night Clubber. Okay. Interesting. Another make disappear though. So we are starting to see some blue. So maybe we're gonna wheel um, a run out of town or another one of those cards from that first pack. So I think I'm gonna stick to the blue train here. Night Clubber is pretty tempting. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll grab make disappear. Our man is looking looking okay. Need some actual cards we can cast. Um, Backstreet Bruiser, yeah, it could be fine. Broker's Veteran is a two-drop. Um, Corrupt Court Official, yeah. So black certainly flowing in this draft. Maybe that's where we're supposed to be. I am going to take one of these two blue cards. I guess it'll be Broker's Veteran. That's, uh, could be wrong, though. We didn't see any white this pack, did we? Another Revelation of Power or a Dapper Shield Mate. Well, we've seen this is the third revelation of power we've seen. Kind of hoping we're going to wheel one. So I think I'm going to take the Dapper Shield Mate. There's also a warm welcome in the pack. And wow, I didn't really wheel any of those blue cards. I mean, we did get the Obscure Initiate, but it's not what we were hoping for. Um, so our colors are certainly contested. Nimble Larcenist. If we want to play these black cards, uh, I'm going to take the initiate. Still don't really want to splash if we don't have to. Um, quick draw dagger, that's pretty late. Or we take Cabaret Courtyard and try to try to play this guy, but we did, man, we didn't see any green either, really. I'm just going to take the card that we definitely going to put into our deck. Okay, black is flowing, but like we haven't seen any Girder Goons, so... Not to say that we're really messing this up here. I'm going to take the land. Maestro's Charm. Five damage shark creature. Fake your own death. Cutthroat contender. Let's take fake your own death, I think. Try not to play red. Um, Halo Scarab, Ominous Parcel. Don't think it matters. And cut the container. All right, so our deck is yeah pretty pretty weak. 
not really what we're hoping to to do here, but it's all right. Um, so Lagrella is in the pack. That's a great reason to play green in this weird blue white deck we've got going on. Blue white question mark. Um, so we could rock that. We could rock the psychic pickpocket. They're both really strong. We don't really have any other reasons to splash green. Um, and other than that, it's kind of it. It's kind of between those two cards. Similar win weight, similar win rates on these. Uh, so I'm gonna go for the pickpocket, I think, because again, there's still a chance that we're we can be straight two colors, which would be slightly better for us. Rafine's Tower. So of the black cards we have. None of them are really splashable, so I think we can pass on the tower. Gathering Throng is probably the pick here, because we already have one. If we can pick up a third, then we're actually kind of doing okay. There's also an Adjudicators in the pack. Uh, a couple lands. Lackey could wheel. So yeah, we'll take Throng. Maybe we wheel Adjudicators or Lackey. Uh, or land. Those would all be fine. We don't really need land, so at this point... And Knockout Blow, Speakeasy Server's fine. Another Make Disappear. I don't know how many of those we want to actually play. Majestic Metamorphosis. So there's some cards here for us. Um, creature Count is 15. I'm going to put these black cards away, I think. Uh, there's still a chance we play the Dancer. The creatures are 13. Got to make a decision here. Um, I think I want to take the server. Let's see what the bots think. They agree. Okay, cool. There's a Quasa. We could almost splash that. But I think the server's sort of up the same alley. Hold for Ransom we could take. We don't have any removal yet. Majestic Metamorphosis also here. Um, you know, we're trying to push damage with Flyers. It's not necessarily what we need. Uh, I think I don't hate hold for ransom, so let's let's try that. Syndicate infiltrated that. It's a card I could see splashing, but third gathering throng is is absolutely a priority here. So let's grab that. Another server, broker's vet, botanical plaza. Rakish Revelers, take another server. And we're Flyers deck. So we're in blue-white, which is the best color combination. I'm not super convinced that this deck is actually going to be that good. Um, but here we are. Another Quick Draw Dagger. Not going to be great in a deck with a bunch of Flyers, but we do have three Gathering Throng, which is going to make it a bit better. I don't know how many of these we really want. There's a case to join as well. We'll take the Dagger, I guess. Revelation of Power, Make Disappear. Um, I think we want a uh, Revelation of Power. We didn't wheel any. We already have double Make Disappear. So we'll take a we'll take a, a Revelation. Both cards are good. And can we get to we're going to be a little bit short on playables to be straight two colors, so we are going to have to splash. Uh, and we still got the Fleetfoot Dancer in the, in the deck as well. So, yeah. So, you know, got caught fighting for stuff a little bit here. Came up a little bit short in terms of playables. Maybe we can splash a Fake Your Own Death. We can find something to splash here in the, in the black side of things. Um, yeah, a lot of like low power cards in the format, it feels like. Join the Maestros. We already have, we already have all of these. Yeah, so bit of a, bit of a low power deck here. We'll see what we can do with it. Certainly like, certainly has game, but, um... Uh, yeah, not feeling super 
jacked about it. Glittermonger. Glamorous Outlaw. Sure. I don't think we want to play any of those. We might play the parcel, actually. So we don't have any removal. And didn't end up with the red splash to make this guy happen either. Okay, but we can splash the strong arm. Um, not really where we want to be, but I think that's better than splashing the black cards. And I think our mana base definitely wants us to play green over black. Um, so yeah, our deck's like certainly a little on the weak side. Um, do we play Botanical Plaza then? One, two, three sources. We probably don't need to. Um, and we've got seven, eight, nine, nine, nine in terms of blue and white. Total of 17 land, 15 creatures. Uh, good curve, though. Good curve. Fairy Vandal. Uh, Fairy Vandal and Skycrier kind of works. Fairy Vandal and Rego works. So I think Fairy Vandal will be okay in the deck. Yeah. I think this is what we're going with. Um, Ominous Parcel is a very awkward... <laughs> removal spell and uh we'll see what we can do with this uh we'll be back for round one opponent goes first Ooh, did not realize i had a disdainful stroke in the deck that's not good that was an oversight we're gonna have to fix that maybe we'll get to get him with it so we got a two drop we've got some mana don't love this hand though don't love being on the draw but that's okay we'll figure it out Nice, the Grift. It's a real card. Uh, Disdainful Stroke's not bad on the draw, though. I guess we get to hold it up this turn, and maybe they have a four-drop we can counter. <laughs> Yeesh. Yep, that's nice. In for one. That blocks. Okay, we're holding up a Disdainful Stroke. Taking three, at least. The next turn we get to play Celebrity Fencer and get into the game. Okay, taking three. Give lifelink. Okay, so they don't have a play this turn. That's not bad. Or we're all right with that. So now we don't have to get to Stroke their five drop, but that's okay. Fencer down. Uh, so this gets bigger, right, with every creature that we play. Yeah, tough draft. Didn't didn't see Rafine's informant or. Overseer, which makes sense. They're some of the best cards in the set. Um, saw some red and black, but also not a ton of excellent red and black. No girder goons. No body droppers that I remember. No late strangles. There's like a forge boss that came around pretty late, but of course this thing we could have uh, stroked, but we didn't get to. Uh, okay, so Rego, we could draw a card, but then, of course, uh, that doesn't doesn't work great. We could cast Rego, though, and hold up Stroke. Swing for four. And then if our opponent attacks with both Flyers, we get to draw cards, which is good for us. Uh, we need white, green, blue to cast this. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we'll do that. We're battling. Trade Echo Inspector? No, that makes sense. <clears throat> so 
Yeah, this definitely shouldn't be in the deck. I'm not sure what we're going to replace it with, though. <laughs> That's the thing that I'm uh, wondering. Okay, both flyers coming in. We're 15, so that's kind of rough for us. Uh, but yeah, we'll take take damage. Play something big. Play something big. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Taste it. Taste the stroke. When this enters the battlefield, two one one counters on target creature. Yeah, I'd like to put those on the sky crier, please. Do we want to blitz this or just cast it? I want to get the card though. That's awkward. It's really awkward. Um. Do we care about the card or do we just care about the lifelink? I mean, this is not attacking again after this turn because they're going to leave the Echo Inspector back to block it. Maybe we just see what we draw. Then we miss out on damage from the Fencer. Oh, we could play Strong Arm and just pump up Rego, super big. Or we just pump the Sky Crier and gain our three life. Don't worry about drawing the card. I mean, that's a big attack. Um, yeah, not really sure what we're supposed to do here. Okay, well, let's... I think I do want the card. That's cool. Okay. So, now we have backup agent to draw us another card. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, shoot. All right, well, I guess we're going with strong arm on Sky Cry. And then we can make it a four, four, and they can get through the Echo Inspector that way. One short on mana. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Okay, sure. So they're going to take... They should take Skycrier here. Ah, that's a bummer. They're going to take Skycrier, and they're going to take their own Grifter, it looks like. <clears throat> That's too bad. Although, okay, they're not going to take their own creature. All right, so... Yep. In, in. Well, probably going to lose. Um... Backup agent. Could pump up... Rego or strong arm could blank one of their flying creatures for yeah we could we could deal with that echo inspector oh man we only have one white mana though eh so we only cast one card this turn that's rough we could uh, get rid of hold for ransom get in for five. Got one though. Yeah, not a lot of great options for us here. Um, pretty unlikely they block with Lagrella if we were to attack with both so I think we attack with both guys on the ground <sighs> yeah but then they can just kill us on the 
on the back swing, eh? Ooh, Jets attack with Rigo. Yeah, we're in we're in real tough here. Okay. So we'll attack with Rigo. Hope to get two damage in. Or they chump with Grifter, which is fine. Okay, so we do get the two damage at least. And then we'll just have to ransom this. It buys us like two extra draw steps. Um, we can find like parcel kill Lagrella. I don't know. I don't I I don't really think there's a way out of this, but actually I guess um the lifelink trick would work to buy us some time. Uh, might even actually yeah the lifelink trick would be pretty darn good if we could Get our fencer back. Somehow that would be even better. Alright, they're going to connive, it looks like. Go to attacks. In for two. Okay, we go to four. Yep. Very dapper. Alright. Well, that's pretty bad for us. Um, planes. Well, uh, yeah, we'll just play our cards. I, I don't think we're supposed to blow up hold for ransom here. So we don't even have an attack with the uh, five four. So, we always have that option next turn. We could back up agent, put a counter on this guy, I guess. We get in for three. Backup agent draws us a card next turn. Um, if we attack for three... They could uh, just, you know, d uh, double block and kill this pretty easily. Assuming they would do so with Bruiser and, like, Grifter or Bruiser and Shieldmate. Just trading a 3-4 for Bruiser doesn't really get us anywhere, does it? So, yeah, I guess we just pass the turn back. So we got good value from Disdainful Stroke this game. I, I don't know if that means we're supposed to leave it in the deck. The game... Ultimately, we're, we're going to lose this game. I think. Uh, what else can we draw? Psychic Pickpocket? Would that do anything? I don't think so. I don't think we have an out here. In case they get to take the uh, thing off and then kill us. Hey, Flash Flying. Get right out of here. The only thing that could save us. Um, we have seven, eight mana. So we still don't have enough to draw the lifelink trick and uh, kill them with Celebrity Fencer. But we almost did. We're a man away from that if we draw the, the uh, lifelink trick. Okay. Uh, so we have to tag with Backup Agent. And that's probably it, right? We have to find not that. <laughs> um Yeah, and they kills with their flyers. Alright, see you uh for the next game. So I'm looking at our pool, there's really nothing I can see taking a uh, disdainful stroke out for other than like broken wings which i think is a strict downgrade since greens are splash color and uh these are both very um situational cards so i think we're gonna leave it uh, it's un like we could also bring in like a waterfront district and try to splash like fake your own death or something but i think that's gonna really hurt us uh, would have been nice to pick up some red fixing to make 
the dancer happen. And that would have been a double off splash, those wells. Or a double, yeah, double double splash. So, you know, I'll, I'll go back and look at the draft, see what we could have done differently. But I, I don't think there's any better way to build this pool. So we're going to rock the disdainful strokes, see if we can get people with it. All right, we're on the draw. Hurts. Hurts every time. Hurts every time. Uh, we have a two drop. Got a disdainful stroke, which is good on the draw. We did find that. So we'll, we'll play. We'll go with it. Land is good to see. Need a creature at some point. Looks like it's going to be Dapper Shield Mate. It's going to be our first uh, creature. Not, not a great place to be. Okay, Mayhem Patrol. Sure. Pass. Not gonna play the tap land there. We need we need to counter our opponent's three. Uh, otherwise we'll be way too far behind. Oof, unless it's that. Um Well, I guess we'll just hold that for ransom then. Get the two for Put it on blue red here. Pretty interesting. Off color deck. Pitching real cards. Okay, good. Good. Hold for ransom. Uh, and it's either broker's hideout or headquarters. I guess it'll be hideout this turn. Since... Uh, this could potentially cycle a little bit later for us if we end up drawing a pile of lands in a row. Opponent misses a land drop. Okay, well, this is, this is all good. This is all working. This is helping. Dapper Shield. All right. And I might have light him up or something. They're going to sack the patrol. Oh, okay, no. All right. Glamorous Outlaw fixing the mana. All right. Again, we could... not play Headquarters and just play Dagger. Hold up counter spells. I think that's the way we want to rock it here. For five, and this only gives first strike till end of turn. Eh? Is it so much to ask? Opponent needs to find a land this turn. I guess we could play our own glamorous outlaw to sp <laughs> to splash the um, do we just counter this? Do we even care that much? Um I think this is fine. Oh, I guess I get two of it anyways. So there's no point in countering it. Oh yeah. Oh, this doesn't target either, eh? All right, so they get some stuff back. We get counter spells at the ready. Obscure initiates. Uh, and are we going to play Spars at headquarters? Um, seems like we're going to have enough to do with our mana that we can. So we can 
activating that, casting another dagger. <clears throat> All right, so opponents thinking about what creature they want to cast here. Here comes a Mayhem Patrol. Uh, is not being blitzed. lifelink I think we let this resolve we'll use our dagger to kill it we move this dagger they're going to block the 4-2 we'll use the dagger so we don't lose the shield counter and then they'll cast Sanguine Spy, we'll counter it, and then they'll be dead. That's the plan, anyways. All right, well, this was kind of a non-game. Still don't think our deck is good. But. There you go. We'll take it. It was a tough draft. We'll take it. See you for the next. And we're back. We go first. Imagine that. Imagine going first. Uh, this hand is not very good. But, I mean, we've got a one. We can find another land. We can play Gathering Thrawn 3. It'd be nice to have a two drop, but um, that's all right. We'll keep it. It's functional. Mulliganing is pretty bad for you in general, so even like a, you know, medium-ish starting hand is fine to keep. The opponent goes uh, Tryland, Maestro's Tryland. Okay, we drew a blue source so we gotta play the game where we hold on to the parcel and try to use it for removal or we just try to hit our land drops and curb out I think hit your land drops and curb out is, is the move but I guess we'll wait till the end step we can find our uh, forest that we can play our lone green card should we should we draw it Ooh, no turn to play. All right, love to see it. Ooh, the natural draw gathering throng. Don't like to see that. Sorry, we still get to draw one. Dapper shield mate next turn. Server a turn after that, hopefully. Oh, that's a good card. Come on. Death Touch Haste. If you don't control a devil, you get a devil that pings things. Well, come on. That's really good. That's really good. All right, well, we'll take it. Next turn we can try to double block, I guess. Shield mate. We try to race, too. Swing for three here. She don't hate that. <clears throat> We're not getting another attack in. Might as well do this. All right, so four color mana base here. That's good. In with 
probably just the Diabolist. Or just the Devil. Likely not both. Okay. Do they have a follow-up play? No. Okay, well, I like... Uh, like the fact that we get to race that. Okay, disdainful stroke. Ugh. I th <laughs> think we're supposed to just play speakeasy server and not hold up. Disdainful stroke. Let's see what they do if we attack for three. I guess nothing. All right. Don't don't mind it. I mean, they're so likely to have strangle or something in hand here that I hate to just give them the server. We could play Throng and hold up Stroke. It's going to be two turns before we can actually hold up Revelation of Power. Uh, and then this, if the creature's a counter, gets Flying Lifeline. I think, I think we just go for this. Gain a life. If they've got Strangle, we're kind of back where we started. If they don't, then they're under a significant clock here. Two treasures. Well, we, we're not interested in blocking, sadly. Any of these things, so I guess we're taking five. We've got a nice one to stroke. Bonus five colors. Get right out of town. Okay, well we're swinging in for six. We don't have any lifelink possibilities. We're just playing throng and holding up stroke. And Revelation of Power, I guess. Uh, we'll decline. Let's get an island with this. Gain a life. Thank you very much. Take six. They're going to have a lot of treasures after this turn. We've got the Power of Disdainful Stroke. Power of the Unknown. <sighs> That's so gross. All right, well, save the one throng, I guess. I don't know. Otherwise, we're losing two creatures and taking five damage. Bummer. So now they can't attack with the 3-3. Three, three. We could trade with the Diabolist too. Actually, this is this is working out okay. It's maybe just the clubbers coming in. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, we're definitely trading with this thing. Get right out of here. <clears throat> uh so. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's scary. Okay, so that's at least that's gone. We draw a card. Psychic pickpocket. Comes into play connives. Interesting. Do we want to hold up stroke or do we want to play pickpocket? Bounce fixer, get buys us another turn, they go to six. I think, I'm a, I think I'm about that. Maybe we just discard disdainful stroke, get some extra power and toughness happening. Uh, or discard gathering throng. I think the throng is okay here, though. Even though it, it makes their attacks kind of weird. I think I'm going to pitch the stroke. And that way they can go ahead and play their big bomb. And we can feel bad rather than 
if we hold it, they won't they won't have a bomb in hand. See, we just we just put a bomb in their hand by doing that. But if we had held it, it would have been useless. So what is it better to have a useless card in our hand or a useful card and a good card in their hand? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I'm being negative. I don't mean to be I don't mean to be so negative. We're actually in a pretty pretty okay spot. Uh ish. They don't really have attacks right now. Uh okay. Well that would have been a good one to get rid of, but they still they still copy it, so that's actually not that great for us. Uh, throng blocks those. So, uh, they, I mean, they need to find removal. Ooh, that's a great draw. What a pickup. What a pickup. So, do we attack with pickpocket? Or not? They double block. That's a one for one. If they double block with the four threes, so it's a one for one. If they block with just the Diabolist, we get to kill it and play Gathering Throng. Their hand is Jet Meter's Fixer and probably just another land. We're 10, though. They can't not block it. They could just chump it with the one one. Then we play Throng and Initiate. I think I like the attack here. And how long is this going to work out for where people don't play around the dagger? Uh, so initiate, if they have a way to sacrifice the 1-1, one, one, they can kill the throng. I think light him up goes to face. So that'd be four. So we would die to light him up if we play gathering throng. Uh, I need to check that. Hold on a sec. Okay, light him up does not go face. I think I'm going to play the throng. Decline to search. Opponent needs a removal spell here or a way to kill us. They're going to sacrifice their land. That's a good sign. But they have a lot of mana left over, so they can very easily cast whatever they draw. And what's it going to be? They're going to take it to the streets here. Um, one mana. Uh, so I don't think we can lose here if we just block like this. All right, we did it. See you for the next game. And we're back. Hand is pretty decent here. One drop parcel, our choice of twos into Gathering Throng. I am a fan of this hand on the play. Uh, which, which two drop do we start with? I think it's going to be Skycrier. Get the lifelink train rolling ASAP. Plus there's a little bit of flash... Potential, very little bit. Fairy Vandal could eat something. Crooked Custodian. Okay. Let's let's uh, get our little three-one divination going here. Good start for us. Good start for our opponent. Throw all three colors of their mana going here. Jewel Thief is good. We're gonna come in for three. Yes. No. Okay. We would like to attack. What is that? How, what is that gonna result in? 
Custodian trades for Throng, I guess. We get him in the sky. And we just play another Throng. I mean, trading our 3-drop for their 2-drop is not great. They already don't want the trade. Kind of want to get Fairy Vandal to play, though, right? For Psychic Pickpockets value. So perhaps... Perhaps we just attack for one here. So I want to play the Pickpocket on Curve. Get the extra Air Force going. Riveteers Initiate. Okay. Gilded pinions. That's that's gonna be a problem. Not a fan of that. No attacks. Love that. That's great. Okay, so we'll do this. At least if they do pinions up something, we've got a removal for it. And we won't play the hideout here. We want to get the pickpocket online. Maybe pitching a throng to it. Although, pitching a land is okay. We don't really need that plus one, plus one all that badly. Don't need lands that badly either. Turn target permanent. We could bounce a treasure token. Probably just probably just get rid of their board though. <laughs> Gains death touch. We're okay with the trade here. Now, if they pinions up the jewel thief, we have a way to pump the vandal at instant speed through Skycrier. We got some more throng action. We also just got. Parcel to deal damage. Okay, that's that's a big thing. That's a big one. That's a big one. That plus pinions is going to be tough to beat. If hold for ransom in the deck. Um, that's kind of it. Okay. Four damage. Okay, well, let's get in for three. I don't think it's time to grow the Vandal just yet. Let's make them at least commit the mana before we start giving them more cards and they can play more throngs and maybe overwhelm them that way. Do we want to play this headquarters? Oh, I, I guess we we can decide that next turn. Exhibition magician. Okay, there we go. And there we go. All right, so Ominous Parcel deals four damage. We could kill the bandits by way of uh, running 
Skycrier into it and then killing it with Parcel. The fact that we can grow our Fairy Vandal is pretty nice though with Skycrier, so I don't really want to do that. Um, don't really want to give them extra cards. That also digs us deeper to potentially dealing with it. Throngs are pretty bad here. Pickpocket's pretty bad here. Um, I guess we attack with the crier and see if they block. And if they do, we can shoot down the 5-5. Five five. If they don't, we can draw an extra card. I think that's okay to do. We are in the business of gaining extra life. And we'll cycle the headquarters on our own turn to trigger the Vandal again. We can actually trigger it twice. We can kill the bandits in combat next turn. <clears throat> or no, no we can't. That doesn't trigger twice. Only on your second card. So, may have been better to cycle rather than give them another look. It's very nice. That's real nice. That's real nice. Uh, all right. All right. They're coming in. It's vigilance. Why not? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so... We're, uh, we're in big trouble here. A couple of... Pretty big plays in a row here. Okay, we'll cycle this now. We need to find a uh, hold for ransom, I guess. Even though that kind of doesn't do it. Uh, uh, backup agent. A. Ward 1. 6-6. Six, six. A lot of bad, a lot of bad stuff going on here. Okay, so I guess we back up agent the fairy vandal and just kill Rafine. It's probably gonna be our turn. We can do exactly that. Get out of here, Rafine. Pump up Vandal. There you go. So we're taking another hit for six. We're not out of it. But we're in trouble. Oh dear. Oh dear. So they can do some, they can yeah, they can definitely do some damage with that. Nothing crazy. It won't have flying, but copies of mask bandits is pretty nice. And fairy vandal is almost big enough to block that. 
So we're going to go for that. So it's not a great game plan, giving our opponent all these extra looks. Oh, yeah. All right, well, initiate plus maybe we get to use make this appear. Casualty it to, uh, as well. Jaxus. Pinions. This is all pinions, by the way. That's uh, causing us all this grief. All right. So if we were to uh, if we were to double block the mass bandits, that would be uh, actually not bad. We're gonna lose our vandal, which we forked so hard to make big. But then we have initiate, which can gain us life. Skycrow, which can gain us life. They can't copy their bandits anymore. But then they can give something else flying. I guess they could just give jewel thief flying. Just give one more turn of vandal. We'd be in business. Them continuously copying bandits is a huge problem for us. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, what if we draw? The plus two, plus two, five, six, seven. That's lifelink. Eight, nine, ten. They're almost dead. Maybe I'll let, maybe that does kill them. That's only if uh, they don't block with the bandits. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not seeing a great out for us here. I think we're just going to block like this. Menace is pretty gross. Yeah. A lot of rares for... Uh, not a lot, but Rafine was pretty nice. Okay. Step one is not not great. Okay, so we can get in with Vandal. Let's see what that does. We're gonna take it. Are we just dead? I don't think we are. I don't think we give them the card. Well, maybe we we're supposed to because we're probably blocking with Skycryer this turn. That might have... It might have been a mistake. So we're at seven. Blitz. Yeah, can't do much about that. I think we're just going to die to what's on board here. All right, opponent's going to go ahead and copy their masked bandits. And I think this is going to be an alpha strike. They're sure we're dead to an alpha strike here. Maybe they're not going to do that. All right. Man patrol targeting itself. So we got to block something.
You got lifelink. Okay, well, I mean, we have outs, depending on what's in their hand. I think hold for ransom would do it. Plus two, plus two, and lifelink would potentially do it. Relation to power. It depends on what they, of course, what they have. The interaction would uh, get us. So, huh, we could we could uh, try to draw into something here. We're surely we're surely dead if we don't find something to kill them. So I think we should. Broker's veteran, dapper, shield, mate. Neither of which are gonna do anything. So one more look. Come on. No. Ah, I guess we have one more look. Maybe find a hole for ransom. Can we survive? If we just play two creatures, can we survive? Don't think so, right? Because we... Well, I mean, Fairy Vandal now blocks Masked Bandits and kills it. We just need enough blockers to actually live. And we're at seven. And they have two Masked Bandits coming at us. We could block them both. And then we would take five, six, seven. So we would probably die. Uh, oh god. And they didn't alpha last turn when they probably should have, but I can't assume that they're uh, going to make that mistake again. Okay, I, I definitely clicked that in time. That's fine. Okay, well now I guess we're counting on them uh, and making a mistake. Well, that's going to be really annoying. If our next card is... Uh, Hold for ransom. I'm gonna feel pretty pretty badly about uh, missing that click. I think the correct play was to draw another card, because they alpha strike here, we just lose. But they showed us that they did an alpha strike last time. Maybe they won't do it this time. We'll see. Seems unlikely though. They're gonna, gonna they're just gonna go for it here. I think. Okay, Jax's copies. Um, the Masked Bandits. Okay. Are we going to get away with one here? Nah. They're coming in. They're coming in hot. So we have to block one of these. And I think that's going to be gonna do it right Put this here because this has trample that's that's what really makes it makes it difficult I think this is the most damage we can prevent man that was close or or it wasn't or they have like four combat tricks and it wasn't close at all but it felt close some rares some good draws for them um a little bit of our deck not really being that great. Rafine, pretty good for them. Okay, Dagger. Okay, all right. All right, on to the next. We'll see in a sec. All right, we're on the play. We have a good curve here, two, three, four. So we're going to keep it. Start with the tap land. And away we go. Not the best two drop here, but uh, I think any two drop is good, generally speaking, on turn two, so we'll take it. It's unlikely to die right away as well. And we'll go ahead and play Throng. 
I guess we could swing and see if they try to trade and get them with dagger as well. Probably better to just play throng though. We don't want to draw any throngs. Unlikely that they block here as well. So get these throngs out of our deck. Full value. Get in for two. And we're off to the races. Opponent in for two. We're going to take it. And a Rafine's Informant. Nice. Conniving away. So we'd like to just play Celebrity Fencer this turn. They, they will probably want to trade with Throng. They probably will not want to trade with Broker's Veteran. And we kind of want as many creatures in play as possible for the server on turn 5. So we're either attacking with both and daggering the informant and then just playing server next turn. Which isn't isn't a terrible place to be, but then they just leave the socialite back and we don't get the we don't get really get any other value from that dagger for a while. Or we just attack for 2. Play Fencer, play Server next turn, gain three, have a four three. It's kind of tough. I think I want to spend all of our mana this turn. So we'll do it like that. And then server next turn is just going to absorb this entire attack of theirs by gaining us three life. Here comes attack for four. We're going to take it. And, I mean, this four drop is going to be interesting. Okay. Okay. It's not the worst. Do they have a follow-up play to that? Oh, that's good. That is good. Okay. Well, now we have to try to, I guess, take that down with Dagger. If that doesn't work, then we just play Server. There's no way they're blocking here. Wow. Really? All right, well, Dagger, folks. You saw it here. Probably not first, but you did see it here. So, pick up those daggers. People are people are not playing around them in gold. <laughs> Citizen's Crowbar. Yep. Okay. Backup agent. Yep. Okay, so we can dagger them again. And follow it up with a throng. That seems pretty good. Probably attack with both. So let me just dagger... And then put the put the shield counter on the throng. Trades. Shield counter. Another throng. Kind of just jockeying for board position here. I don't think we want to block. We have some life gain coming. Do 
How to just run our opponent out of resources. <laughs> disdainful stroke. That is disdainful. Attack for seven. And probably just play the server here. Equip dagger, can block. This will hopefully get us there. In. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, of course. That. Oh, God. I deserve that. Yeah, okay. The opponent does have... Oh, I see the crowbar can... Can I actually do something? I'm not really sure. Okay, we're going to counter that. Yeah! Disdainable stroke, baby. Okay, we got there. See for the next one. We're back. We're on the play. We have a two-drop. We have a gathering throng. We've got our colors. We are... Quite happy. We're rocking and rolling. Pick up a forest with this broker's hideout. And again, the Skycrier Fairy Vandal combo. Is that going to be any good? Probably not. I think Skycrier is not a bad card on its own, but I don't know that you're supposed to activate its ability all that much. I think it's just good as a 1-1 a one -one that can pick up counters. Lifelink. Next turn. We got a little... Uh, we got some options, actually. We can strong arm the Skycrier into a 3-3 three -three and blitz our Blitz some stuff uh, out. We could play Fairy Vandal and hold it Make Disappear. Or we could just play another Gathering Throng. We've got some options. But it's got a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, man, I don't hate the Strong Arm play. I don't hate it. Vandal's not bad either. Doesn't block very well, but then like next turn we can play strong arm as a, a creature that doesn't die. Two three's pretty good on this board. Hmm. And getting to potentially counter their next play is really good. I think that's what we should go for. But yeah, not 100% not sure there. Okay, here comes something. Hold for ransom. We want to spend this mana while while we have it available. They're gonna attack with the gardener, untap a land. Do we want to trade off? 
My feeling is we do. I think it matters to them that they can untap lands like this. It seems like they're going to miss their land drop. Okay. Big old backup agent. We've got a fairy vandal. We've got a strong arm. We've got a Bane Slayer Angel now. All right. Yeah. Three three is not huge though. They can certainly have something. Whoa. Uh okay. Take four. Yeah, no problem. Parcel can deal with that. And I think it I think it will. And we're gonna get in there. This is six. We go up to twenty-three. Not doing too badly here. Opponent uh, with sticky fingers on their backup agent. So they're gonna get some some needed mana here. Revelation of Power. Ah, uh, I think we'll just get in for three, four, I should say. Deals X damage. All right, we'll save it then. Okay, opponent's going to scoop it up right there. All right. Four and two. We'll see you for the next. And we're back. Opponent's on the play. Boo. Boo. Ah, uh, this hand looks like a mulligan. Can't cast anything until turn four. And we have to draw land to do so. Yeah, this is much better. We've got a two drop. We've got our MVP disdainful stroke. Uh. Yeah, this this hand is certainly better. I think we'll just put the stroke on the bottom. I think, although it is, it's not bad on the draw. I I gotta say, it's not bad on the draw. No, we're definitely gonna bottom it though. It's okay. It's gonna get shuffled right back in. So, um, you know, we could draw it again and then have it in our hand for just the opportune moment there. Orzov action over there. Okay. Well, we're taking three. That's not, not a great feeling. And they have uh, effects. Oh, dear. This is good. This is good for them, not good for us. So, all right, Rafine Salter, we can eat, oh, ooh. Broker's Veteran, it's pretty bad against Rafine's, this thing in Fairy Vandal eats the Rafine Silencer, and then they probably kill Skycrier, Broker's Veteran trades with this, the Custodian. Skycrack gets a shield counter, which is not great against Silencer. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but being able to block the 3 2 is probably more important than eating the 1 1. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to go with the 2 1. I has got a nice curve going here. Pitching Shattered Seraph. That's a good use for that card. OK. 
Okay, well, I'm definitely trading here. Oof, missing the land drop. Okay. I guess we'll flash that in. Eat, eat the silencer with it. I guess we just block the silencer with the sky crier. That's probably the best way of doing that. Jeez. Okay. I guess sky crier's gonna. Sky Cryer's dying either way if we eat the uh, eat the silencer. But this way we get to gain a life, so let's we'll do that. Not not looking good. Not looking good for us here. Uh need need land quite badly. Okay. Good. Then, then another. <laughs> then another. Ah, uh, double block on body launderer. Non rogue creature. Okay. Well, we can get the Rafine silencer back. Our life total. Well, we're about to take six. So maybe we actually do want to double block. Yeah. Probably not worth getting the one damage. All right. Well, that's just unsportsmanlike. Okay. We're going to 10. Uh, psychic pickpocket. On. <clears throat> Our own shield mate would be pretty good here. Right? I think so. Don't want to bounce the hold. We could bounce uh, Echo Inspector. Maybe it comes back down as not a 3-4. We could also just play Speakeasy server and have a double block. On the inspector, I have a trade with the launder, gain two life. Huh. Let's go to non land. Oh, and Fairy Barrel's going to get counter here. I think we... feels really silly to discard Gathering Throng here. But these cards are both great. And they've got... They've got the... Uh, minus... The thing in the graveyard that shrinks things is really good against Gathering Throng. Rafine's Silencer. That's the one. All right. Conniving... It's a three, four. Look at that. Okay, no attacks is good. Um, now do we get in with the pickpocket? Trade for the body launderer, they get the thing back. Flying death touch back, they could. Because we don't really want to trade then, do we? Um, hmm. This card is really gross. We've got to deal with it at some point. This 4-3 is not going to get any better. Uh, although we should have played our server first. Okay, they're going to trade that way. That's cool. Is a rogue? It is. 
They aren't going to get that back. Oh, yeah, but they do get to connive again. It's pretty nasty. But now they don't have a flyer, so we can start clocking in that way. This is actually not the worst spot. In for four, we're going to take it. And we got three life coming next turn. We're hitting them for five. No, we're not. Rats. Let's go to land. 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 Nice. Okay. Here we go. Rego is not great here. Uh, there's probably no point attacking the Vandal. Okay, that's real good. That's real good. So this is eight down to three. We could double block the inspector. Uh, we have six, we have eight coming back. 12 if we draw land. Um, I don't think we're supposed to block here. I don't have a great reasoning for that, but I don't think we're supposed to block here. I think we're going to probably chump block with Rego next turn. Hopefully we draw... Hold for ransom, I guess. Or they've dig. They have. Now dig doesn't target. Whoa, that's pretty sick. Nice job. Okay, so I think we're dead here. Sadly. Maybe if we can get a hold for ransom going. Then we would get to hit them for a pile of damage. Okay, so that's not happening. Uh, Dapper shield mate. Can chump block for a turn. It is a sorcery. Alright, well we can put them to... Six. Uh, it gives us a chance. Uh, um, they get to draw an extra card this way, but I think the be I think our best chance is to put them to six, chump the body launderer, go to one. I mean, if they have removal, we die. If they have pump, we die, obviously. But um, I think that's our best plan. A lot, lot of ways to lose here, of course. Um, so far, we're not dead. They're at six. We need flying blockers. they can produce they can they can make the uh, echo inspector <clears throat> and uh, Rafine silencer so they're definitely not dead 
Shattered Seraph, okay. Gain three up to nine, yet. Uh, so they are dead. Okay, so they block... <laughs> that's hilarious. They block shield mate and they, and they die to uh, Sparrow's headquarters. That's funny. Okay. How funny. Well... Um, that, that happened. So, uh, we'll see you for the next game. We're back. We're on the play with a bit of a dicey hand, but I think we've got enough going on with the blue cards. It's tough because Rigo is not, not very castable here, but... I think we keep it. Need to see some lands at some point, of course. And uh, we'll hold up our counter spell and our fairy vandal. Let's see what we need to do. Uh, I mean, sure. Play initiate next turn. All right. Well, if we can draw planes, then we've got a bit of a we've got a, a curve going. We got fencer into uh, whatever else. Okay, initiate down. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, no, no, so no such luck. But still, still live for uh, to do stuff if we can get a planes. Opponents on the mono removal thing, I guess. Alright. Alright, we have the board. Any untapped land would be good. Look at the top five. Put one in your hand and the rest in your yard. Bend a corpse appraiser. Do they really need a land? What is happening here? <laughs> uh, just psychic pickpocket bouncing itself, or what are we supposed to do here? I think we're just casting this very awkwardly because we need to hit white mana. And I think we're supposed to discard Rigo. We have no prospects of casting it or attacking with a one power creature. Assuming our opponent has that crazy rare that just kills everything. Oh yeah. Okay, well they didn't get they didn't get our, our planes. That's fortunate. So this exiles the top of each player's library and you can play those cards once a turn. Oh yeah, just getting us closer. Getting us, uh, getting us closer to that planes. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Don't play three colors, guys. This is why. This is why. Here comes our dapper shield mates. Uh, let's think for a sec. We can block. We can actually block with fairy vandals. So I suppose we should not race now. So we're behind. Unless, of course, we put our opponent on having that. 
Uh, we'll take six. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's not a planes. Do we cycle it? Do we need to draw planes badly enough that we just cycle that? If we did, we would what? Can't hold for ransom. We'll just die to that. Then just removing that. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, man. Not like this. We would play Gathering Throng. And... That would block the shield. We block shield made with veteran. That might get us back into it. I'm going to say that's what needs to happen. Because we can't just take eight again. Okay, we did draw it. Nice. Okay. Sadly, uh, miss, missing a, a lot of land drops and not getting your colors. It's not a, not a recipe for success. Could have mulled. Obviously saw this as a potential outcome. But. All right. Well, I guess we're blocking. Going to six. Planes is good. So now we have five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Throng and Server. Gain a life. Or we can play Fencer and Throng. Have a bigger Fencer of a 4 3 that can tangle with Swindler trade off here. Take two down to four. Think I think we'll take the high risk line here. It's slightly less risky to play server. Maybe not really by much, actually. Oh, yeah. And, okay. Blocks. So we got to four then we go to two off of glamorous or we just die to this okay man oh well could have mold um maybe we were supposed to but we didn't so that's how it went down. I, I think we had a chance. I mean, we, we had a lot of looks for white mana. And we never found it. The forest burned us. Um, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just lose, right? But you can let me know in the comments if you think we should have mauled. Pretty happy with this result. I gotta say, five wins off of the, out, of this, out of this pile is uh, really quite... Pretty lucky. I mean, we did we we did luck out at, l at least one of those games. So, anyways, that's uh that's the draft. Please click like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here. It helps me a lot. Leave your questions in the comments below. If you saw me make any mistakes, you can feel free to point those out as well in the comments. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Talk to you on the next one. Bye for now.